So remember last episode we talked about Clutch Claw. And I told y'all I got a comment up under one of my old videos that said Clutch Claw run the game. This is me slowly starting to realize that they own or something. Like I'm hitting barrel with spread. Straight in his face. Not really getting any damage, but as soon as I do that clutch claw and weaken that part, which I have to do it two times because I got light bow gun, it's a light weapon. So I have to do it two times. That's when I start getting good damage from hitting him with the spread up close. You know, is Clutch Claw is mandatory. You have to do it. If you're not doing it, then you're not getting good damage. I can see why I struggled so much with World Iceborne when I first started playing. Because like I told y'all, this is my first Monster Hunter. So I, I see why I struggled so much. Like, I wasn't really doing any damage to the monsters because I didn't know the basic mechanics to the game. And Clutch Claw is not new player friendly. You have to know a monster's moveset to be able to use Clutch Claw effectively. If you don't know a monster's moveset and you just spamming that claw, you're going to end up dead. I guess that's why I took more of a liking to Rise because Rise was a little more new player friendly. As where World, it seemed like it was made more for veterans of Monster Hunter. People who've been playing Monster Hunter since the beginning and already know what to do, when to do it. So World was a big challenge for me. You know, me coming from playing Dark Souls 3 for so long, man, I was like, man, I'd be able to knock this game out easy. How wrong I was. <laughs> but I bought this game in 2019 after Iceborne had released. Me and my brother needed something to play. You know, I got on the internet and started looking up games and came across Monster Hunter. And I was like, you know, hey, would you be interested in this? He was like, yeah, we give it a shot. And we both fell in love with, you know, he, I ain't gonna lie, man. He, he's an exceptional hunter. He know how to play every weapon. You know, me personally, I like to just stick with one. You know, I don't want to be the jack of all trades. I just got one. That's my favorite and keep moving. But to speak about the monster, uh, Barrel was never a monster I really struggled with. You know, his moveset was easy. You know, he's not a hard monster, beginner-friendly monster. <laughs> I can't deny that. Very beginner-friendly. But, you know, as we keep going on with the episodes, you know, I'm going to let y'all know which ones I used to struggle with. You know, I don't struggle with them now because I know all they moves, sis. I know how to deal with them. But back then, who we? But y'all stay tuned and we'll talk about it when we get there. Like and subscribe if you ain't. Comment down below. Cut on that notification bell because I got more coming. And with that, I'll see y'all later.
waiting over by the slag. 